Uh, which leads us on now to uh, Barclay Holmes. Thank you very much, uh, Barclay Holmes, for your constructive engagement with me and for the community. Uh, you know, this is a beginning of a, a long-term partnership, uh, and we very much uh, welcome you, Bob. And to Piers, uh, Clamford Managing Director, we look forward to hearing from you now. Piers. Um, first of all, thank you very much for, for having me here tonight. Um, I'm delighted to be able to represent uh, Barclay Holmes uh, and be part of, part of the discussions tonight. Um, my name is Piers Clamford. I'm the Managing Director for Barclay Homes North East London. I've actually worked for the group for 20 years, so I've, I've been, there, been there a while. I've started at uh, a fairly low level and managed to work my, my way up. Um, so um, from a construction background as well, so you can be sure that uh, all of our projects will be uh, very much focused on construction um, and quality. Um, in terms of um, Barclay, I'm sure most of you will, will probably know us. Um, we announced our results yesterday. Um, we're, a, we're a great developer and we're known for our sort of quality and our passion and um, inspiration, really. And, um, but also, we, we have undertaken a number of heritage buildings over the past 20 years. Um, Roehampton House, um, for one, which is a Grade 1 listed building. It was actually a Second World War um, hospital. Uh, and also then we go on to the sort of Royal Arsenal as well, sticking with the sort of Second World War theme. The Royal Arsenal was a sort of secret um, munitions um, factory as well during the Second World War. So two great sites with fantastic um, World War heritage as well. So something in common really with, um, with Trent Park. Um, so we're, we're, we're also very sort of good at partnership working as well, so there's a big focus on everything we do is actually working in partnership and um, you know, we've brought some real ex experts with me tonight, I'm sure I won't be able to answer every single question that's possibly thrown at us, I don't know, but um, I've, got some, I've got a great team in front of me here, um, our own guys Dan and Glenn here, we've got Natasha from Giles Quam, sort of real sort of heritage specialist in terms of uh, architecture. We've got Ian Ryan here as well, just on the inside here, um, NLP, so a lot of planning advice and expertise there. We can talk about traffic as well. And then we can also talk about museums. Um, so we've got Alex here from Free State, so a real sort of specialist in how to get museums um, off the ground, really. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to answer some of the questions that might, may arise tonight. But I think in, in, in my time at um, Barclay 20 years, I think this has actually got to be one of the most exciting projects for us all. What a fantastic setting, a rich history, and you know, great, a great site to deliver something very special and a sort of lasting legacy, which is, you know, which is what we're about as a developer. Um, a long-lasting legacy that will last long beyond after we've left the site. So that's, that's something we want to deliver here, something for future generations, not, not just the current one. Um, I thought I'd perhaps outline our sort of vision, really, for Trent Park, which I think is very much um, aligned to the Save Trent Park campaign. Uh, you know, it's very, very similar really. We want to create a long-lasting legacy for Enfield by rejuvenating Trent Park uh, for, for over, after so many years of neglect really. It's really sat there with so much neglect and no investment. We want to change that. Uh, we want to restore the mansion house um, and a beautiful historic landscape, you know, re reinstalling Lime Tree Avenue, something that was cut down at the start of the Second World War. It'd be great to see it back in place. Um, getting it all back to its former glory, you know, seeing it again with those 1960s buildings removed will be something special. Um, and we want to build some great homes. It's about quality for us. We are, you know, quality is, is, is right through the DNA of Barclay. Um, we've worked on some fantastic um, sites. We've got some great heritage architects we work alongside. We've got listed building experience. And I've brought some mood boards as well, which you can see. These are actually from the last public consultation give you a bit of an indication as to what the flavour of where, where we're going with this. Um, this is pretty much the latest information which obviously hopefully you'll take the chance to have a look at. But the truth about the house and the grounds really is that they have been neglected for many, many years. And, um, but we've already started working on them. I think as was mentioned earlier, we have propped the terrace. You know, it is on the at-risk register. We have propped it, it's not gonna fall away now. Um, but there's still much work to do. Um, we've started repairing the roof to stop the water coming through, damaging the inside of the mansion house. We started repairs to Snakes Lane, we've got the lights working, we started clearing the vegetation back. Um, you know, we are, we are doing the parts we can do before we get a planning consent. But ultimately forums like this, I think, is, it will decide the future of Trent Park and, and shape what, what goes on in the future and what is delivered. And uh, throughout the consultation period, we've been talking to you about um, our planning aspirations really, which we can see at the back of the room. And you've been clear, I think, all the way through that uh, a museum is, is a key part of what needs to be delivered um, at Trent Park. And, you know, I want to make this happen. I want to, I'm, I'm with you on this. I want to make this, I want to deliver this museum. 
And um, we've got some experts here which can help flesh out how this will work and perhaps deliver a plan to see it realised. Uh, but I've got to be honest with you, there's going to have to be some compromises along the way. Um, I'll probably start by saying, actually, I think it's about 5 or 6% we've offered up so far, not 1%. Yeah, over 300,000 300, square feet. So. <laughs> Potential, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, the, the upper floors, I think, was something that had been discussed previously. Uh, unfortunately, the, the Middlesex University completely stripped them of anything that's remotely of, of interest there, and it's really not going to be feasible, I don't think, to deliver them. Um, but the ground floor is something different, and we do think we can deliver a museum on the ground, you know, part of the ground floor and also the basement, um, which is you know, part of the key, the key history, really, um, the basement for the mansion house. And we think we can get sort of uh, good aspirations and good visits at, um, in through the Blue Room, so people can enjoy the Whistler murals. Um, obviously, you've got Kendrick's office there as well. It was used in the Second World War. So these, these are sort of key, key areas of interest, I think, for any museum. Um, but that, I think the, the key focus for us on the museum, really, is that it, it has to be quality. Um, we want to deliver something that people will want to visit, they want to bring their friends to visit, uh, a really good experience for people. And I think that's the focus, really, for us, is to make sure that it's something that is engaging, um, that people want to come back to, uh, want to recommend to their friends, and it's not something that you just whiz around in 20 minutes. We want to make sure this is a quality experience. Um, and my team, I mean, what can I say about my team? They've got so fascinated in, in history and the whole thing as well. Um, yeah, huge, huge amount of history and actually sort of, you know, this, obviously this, the excitement, etc., spills into the rest of us, which is great. Um, and actually we spent a lot of time recently digitising the archive. I mean, the archive is staggering. I didn't realise your office was big enough to hold it, really, to be honest with you, Natasha. <laughs> Um, you know, we found video footage of the royal family uh, attend, uh, visiting the mansion house. I mean, there's, there's some great, um, great archive footage, and we're in the process of getting this onto sort of a digital format where everybody can view it, so it'll be available to everybody via the internet. So I think that's another key milestone as well. Uh, and as I said, I'm, you know, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. I have brought a team of experts here, so hopefully we'll be able to sort of um, answer any questions that may come up. And I guess, um, just finally from me, thank you all for listen, listening to me. I know you're all as passionate as, as we are about seeing the future of um, Trent Park realised, not just for this generation, but for future generations to come. Thank you very much. Thank you.